IITJ is a very very tough exam as we all know uh, especially in terms of undergrad it is one of the toughest exam a person has to maintain his composure for like 2 years and then he has to prepare for one big day in which which will decide a lot of what he has done so emotional question is really important can you give some tips how a person should be coping with the pressure peer pressure mental pressure everything yeah okay um i would just give an example of a bollywood movie uh a couple of years back quite a few would have seen that movie that chapte there was a famous dialogue in that it says that you just have 90 minutes i'm not going to tell you the course tells you that i am not going to tell you how to play in these 90 minutes so it's the same way there can be multiple amounts of strategies what you said is completely correct that means the tutors or the trainers can suggest multiple strategies for instance i'll just give you three strategies majority of my students would have actually opted for each equal each equal each of the strategy equally and they are equally successful so i am not going to say which of the strategies should be followed by padi for instance what if you of the strategies that i suggest is that you equally divide your day into three equal parts starting off with mathematics and then either physics or chemistry the reason why i'm saying that starting off with mathematics is that mathematics is mainly numericals so when you start your starting your preparations then the fresh mind can attempt the numericals much more faster and therefore it becomes a much more constructive approach that's what i have felt and then you go on to the theoretical concepts of the physics and followed by chemistry because chemistry is has majority part of the theoretical parts if we talk about the organic and the inorganic part physics also has some numerical parts so let's attempt the numerical part first and then go over to the theoretical part this is the same strategy what i would like to suggest to anyone who is appearing the reason is this because if you attempt the numericals first there is a very less likelihood that your answers are going to go wrong because you are attempting them with a completely fresh frame of mind for the theoretical concepts you have to recollect quite a few things and therefore you need to think about it and you need to devote your time as you correctly said the time management is very very important and we should not think that the complete duration of the time that is with us we should stick to it and we should think that, that only we have 75% of the time and we have to finish with that if we target for 75% only then we will be able to finish earliest by 85% so we will only be left with a very very small gap of 15% time that's very much necessary to revise whatever you have done and also attempt those which you have left because invariably most of the students find that the time is completely less so sorry i spilled over to this thing i should also tell you about the strategies the other strategy that i intend to tell students is that first focus on the mathematics let's say for 1 hour of the day and the next 2 hours to either physics or chemistry or similarly if you are studying for something let's say 2 to 3 hours in a day which is going to be less but if you are studying for that then focus on either physics or chemistry on one day math on the other and then chemistry or physics on the other day followed by math why i am saying this because math would need more practice because you have to work them out and moreover if you work them out for mains if you prepare for mains obviously your board preparation would be completely done because all the types of questions that you will be practicing for mains would be covered in your boards so you don't really have to prepare separately which is a common notion that you have to work separately for boards that is not correct yeah uh, that is a very nice strategy indeed the fact that when you when you are in the morning you are very fresh and uh, you can work out the math problem first and then you can go to the theoretical part 
uh, that is a very nice strategy indeed uh, on the emotional question we would like to add a few more points that like because it's a two year uh, preparation a person has to be consistent so he cannot right. be over stress, stressing overworking himself yeah, out for few period and he cannot be like slacking on the rest of the period you have you have to be consistent all the way uh, right. sumit you are also a faculty in like you must be knowing this that student tend to compare themselves with other students maybe one which are very much uh, like uh, very much brilliant and they go in a lot of mental pressure because of that so right. that is right. one of the things a person person should not be comparing himself with anyone it is your exam it is your uh, your war you have to go through it and you have to clear this exam okay so uh, what i suggest sorry to interrupt you uh, what i suggest to my students is that it is just one seat that you need forget about who are you comparing with you may be comparing with a person who may be brilliant but it is what you do in that duration that is important you should focus on that one seat forget about how many students are comparing how many students are you competing with that doesn't matter it's just that one seat that is important moreover when you try to compare it with uh, your peers let me give you an example it's been a couple of years now for me that i passed up as a matter of fact i don't want to boast anything but i did not have a very good rank in my school as a matter of fact my school topper couldn't get to the iig and i did manage to do that he did get to the bits reason being there was a percentage based admission that time yeah, yes, so, so don't compare don't think that since a particular person is getting let's say 90% 95% 97% it is respect of that that is that is immaterial that's a board mark that is Please that is right that. sumit uh, that is true that things. we have to uh, focus on ourselves our preparation and uh, not see that other people